everyone! Welcome to my 7th video. My name is Hejin and this time I'd like to share my journey of making a mini tweed dress with tweed fabric I wove myself. I named this dress a cotton candy tweed dress because of the color and the textures of the yarns I used. This project was inspired by fancy tweed fabrics from designer brands like Chanel and Dior. I wanted the full experience of designing the fabric and the dress by myself, so I found novelty yarns, designed the pattern, and wove it using a loom. To weave the fabric, I started with hanging the yarns on the loom. These vertical yarns are called the warp, and I fixed each yarn on both the top and the bottom. Starting from the far left, I hung each yarn in order, repeating the pattern. One important thing was to keep the tension of each yarn so that it's not set loose during the weaving process. It took me approximately one hour to fill the entire loom with the warp. For my mini tweed dress, I wove three of these pieces. Next was placing the heddle bar in the middle to lift alternating warp strings. This way, the shuttle stick could pass easily with the weft or the horizontal yarns. After placing the weft yarn, I tried combing it to make sure there's no extra space between the yarns. When the yarn was in place, I then rotated the heddle bar by 90 degrees. This changed the order of the lifted yarns so I could keep weaving. Like this, I kept weaving the weft one yarn at a time. This took much longer than hanging the warp yarns, as this involved guiding the shuttle stick through the lifted warp yarns, placing the weft, and combing it. But it felt very relaxing and soothing. I really enjoyed working with different textures of each novelty yarn, and seeing how the tweed was coming together. After weaving the weft till the very top of the loom, I pulled out the finished piece from the frame and cut the loose ends. Please note that this is how I did it, not necessarily the correct way. This was my very first time weaving, so I was trying out a lot of things. Next, I started sewing the loose ends together so that the fraying stops. And this was what the finished tweed fabric I wove looked like in the end. I was very happy to see the cotton candy color theme throughout the fabric. In order to make the dress with this fabric, I added fusible interfacing which added some structure to it like this. This is the one without interfacing, which is softer and more flowy. For the patterns of the dress, I followed Simplicity's 8330 for the halter top and drafted a half circle skirt. And here's the finished dress.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. See you soon.